Fallon's Benson. Jimmy Fallon's not an invention. Good, thank you very much. Uh, now, I love inventions, and I'm okay with kids. So, I got together with Jeannie, and we found some of the best and brightest kids out there. I think you're going to be amazed at what we came up with. Let's meet our first inventor. Come on over here, Grace. Come on, hey. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Grace. Nice to meet you. Uh, how old are you, Grace? Seven. Seven years old? Wow. And where are you from? I'm where, New Hampshire. Where, New Hampshire? Yeah. I don't know. Portsmouth. <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, thanks for going along with the joke there, Grace. Uh, what, what, uh, what is your invention here? I can't even guess what it is. What is it? The cleaner upper. The cleaner upper. Okay, this is good. Now, how did you come up with the idea for the cleaner upper? Um, in kindergarten, my playroom was messy, and I didn't want to pick it all up by hand, so I was like, I want to invent something that can help me um, clean up better. Yeah. So I was thinking of that, an idea of a cleaner upper yeah. that could help me. Brilliant. I love it. Uh, now, wait, here's, let's see how it works. Uh, I'm going to throw some trash down, okay? And you'll use the cleaner upper to clean up the mess. Is that, is that good? Yeah. You have a deal? There we go. So here's your toys. This is what I would have laying around my office, right? <laughs> toys everywhere. And, and there you go. That's it right there. Okay, now, let's use the cleaner upper and see it get all cleaned up. There it is. Wow. There it is. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Wow. This is... <laughs> This will really save you a lot of time, you know? <laughs> there you go. Okay, put it down. There you go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Cleaner up there. That's what I'm talking about. The cleaner ever. I love it. Grace, it's clean. Thank you very much. Hey, Grace, Grace, before you leave, before you leave. I have an invention I think you're going to love, okay? What's the problem with pizza? It's always too hot. That's right. Thank you for coming to rehearsal. Uh, now, sometimes it's... <laughs> We've not met before, have we? Yeah. All right, well, hey, pizza is too hot. Not anymore with the pizza fan. Thank you very much. Here's the pizza fan right here. So you take this, you clip it on your pizza. There you go. Look at this. Dream it. We're good, right? There you go. I'll get over there, Grace. And take your clear upper. Thank you very much. Let's see our next inventor. Come on over here, guys. Okay, this is uh, Indigo, Daniel, and Cameron, everybody. Hey, welcome to the show. Nice to see you, buddy. How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. You have blow torches. Where are you guys from? We're from Texas. Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Now, where's that? New Mexico. Okay, yeah, and are you brothers? Uh, cousins. Cousins. Good, you're cousins, okay. Cousins. Okay, okay yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> you didn't answer, so I thought maybe you were going to say friend, friend, cousins and friends. Okay, uh, now, what is your invention here? This is not important. Okay, good to see you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> what do you mean nanoform? What does that mean? So it's a lightweight, antibacterial, and breathable material that is also fire resistant. Really? Wait, so with the, the material, you're creating the material? We're coating a new additive on top, top of new material. It's the white stuff. Yeah. So you, you put something over normal material. Yes. And what does it do? It makes it fire resistant yeah. along with antibacterial. And it is even more breathable than the old fabric. It's right. made out of carbon, crab shells, and baking soda. C crab shells? Yeah, crab shells, crab shells. <laughs> how, did, how did that come up? <laughs> is that a thing? Or is that the thing that people use? Crab shells? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. I did not know that. Uh, uh, well, can we try it? I want to see what this thing does. Yeah. So this is untreated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I got you. Yeah. As you can see, it catches on fire. Yep, of course. Right, right. Good job. And then here's us. <laughs> and here's nanoform. Here's nanoform right here. Hey. Hey. That works. Yeah. That's a great invention. Yeah. I love that. That's amazing! Nanoform! I love it. Uh, that is amazing. I'll tell you what's also amazing. This invention I have, this is going to be sweeping the nation. This is the Venetian Blinds hat. Now, <laughs> now, we're just hanging out. We're just talking, right? Just uh, just tell me a story. Just tell me. Uh, where, how did, did, you, did you ever uh, play sports as a kid? Yeah, I wrestled. Yeah, you did? Yeah. 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 And how long were you on the uh, high school team? Uh, this is my second year on varsity. Oh, really? Yep. Second year on varsity? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. And now, who's your coach? Uh, Robert Valencia. He's a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, the Venetian blinds hat. Everyone's gonna be wearing it. Uh, why don't you just look at it and see? What, that's a real invention. So check it out. Go over there. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, come over there with the other guy over there. Let's meet our next. Thank you, buddy. Let's meet our last inventor. Come on over, Christopher. Hey, buddy. Nice to see you, Bob. Alright, Christopher, uh, how old are you and where are you from? 13, and I'm from Chicago. Alright, and what is your invention? Mom, so my invention is the messy pet bowl. Okay. The messy pet bowl. So, yeah, okay. that's it. This is a standardized bowl. No, that is the regular bowl. That, yeah. This is your invention. Yeah. Now, now, how did you come up with the idea for the messy mud bowl? Um, well, my dog Oscar, he's very messy when he eats, and so I wanted a simple alternative. I'm not to say his name, he's watching the show. You're only embarrassed the dog. Sorry, Oscar. Sorry, Oscar. Uh, yeah. um, well, I just wanted an alternative um, to cleaning up his mess, and so this is where I got my idea. Yeah, I think it's good. Can you show me how it works here? Yeah, uh, should you have some kibble? Yeah, yeah. here we go. Yeah, thanks for there coming to rehearsal. Uh, the, oh, yeah, 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 of course. Uh, so we have kibble right here. Okay, so what do I do? I mean, if you just don't mind pouring into the um, simple bowl, and then, well, not simple bowl, just this bowl. Simple bowl? Well, I don't know. Oh, you're, like, making fun of the normal bowl. No, I mean, it's, simple. it's, it's, a, it's a good yeah, bowl. Yeah, it's a good enough bowl. All right, yeah. here you go. So I'm pouring some kibble in there. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That happens. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. And now, the messy mutt bowl. Yeah, okay. just pour it in. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Now you you have a dog at home, right? I or, do. Yeah. Her name is Gary. Oscar. Uh, Oscar. 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 Yeah, Gary. Yeah. Gary, Gary, Gary's Gary. at home. Yeah. So, I love Gary. Hi, Gary. So, so, you're a good dog, Gary. You're never messing. See, positive reinforcement. <laughs> so, um, if this happens a lot in your home, this is like very easy to clean up because with the messy mutt or messy pet bowl, the fabric catches all the food that falls down. So to get it back in the bowl. Just pick up the rain, and then that's it. So we'll back in. That is a brilliant invention. The, me the messy pet bowl. Look at that. That's brilliant. I love that. And it goes like that. Look at how easy that's brilliant. Hey, that's a great invention. You know how I use to clean this up? I used to clean up with the uh, cleaner upper. Grace, do you have the cleaner upper? Look at this. Thank Look at this. Thanks, Look at this. Go, pull it up. Grace, go for it. Yes! <laughs> Let's get all of our inventors back here. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Cousins, get over here. That was great, buddy. Uh, guys, thank you so much. You were great. You were great. You were great. You were great. Uh, I do have one more thing to show you. GE wants young minds to dream big and to make the impossible possible. So they're giving each of you five thousand dollars to help further your education. Here you go. Thank you very much. Put up. Oh, yeah. You can't really cash these, so don't try it out there. But you should also go home with a giant check. Here you go. This is for you. Here's Indigo. There you go, pal. And then this is for Grace. Here's your giant check. Perfect. There you go. Check out the GE Fallon Inventions website to see some of my inventions. Stick around. We'll be right back with more of the Tonight Show, everybody. Fallon Inventions is powered by GE. Uh, uh, it's going and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's going and on.